Hello game trollers and welcome to part 3 of my Batman and Gotham Knight story concept video. You can watch the previous free videos, uh, links in the description, as well as the gameplay video in which I talk about the gameplay. Um, so yeah, hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video, and uh, yeah, let's get cooking with the intro. Yeah, yeah. And Nightwing goes back to the bat, uh, the bat cave, and it's sort of like they're really sad because Batman's dead, of course, and just just like they've lost all faith. And pretty much they decided that okay, now we have to really work to stop these guys because we lost Batman. We're not gonna lose each other, and we're gonna stop this in honor of Batman. So they pretty much chapter four is sort of like their their revenge. I I sort of I I guess pretty much. The Suicide Squad, at this point, in Chapter 4, is, well, what, what's the term here? Um, they, they work, start working for the villains, pretty much. So, like, Killer Frost starts working for Penguin, Deadshot starts working for, I don't know, Joker, um, King Shark also works for Penguin, K KG Beast, Captain Boomerang, Bane, um, and Black Spider start working for, uh, uh, <laughs> Black Mask. Now, it goes, now, at the end of this chapter, Bat Nightwing is fighting with Bane, and Bane starts overpowering Nightwing, because, you know, it's Bane, for crying out loud. Pretty much, it's like, it's like Nightfall Bane. He's really, he's a smart guy, he's smart, and he's also got the buffness, you know what I'm saying, he's strong. He's basically Batman Arkham Origins Bane, he's... He's smart, he's, he's intellectual, he's an intellectual, I guess, he's intelligent, he's strategic, and everything like that, and he's also got the mega, the, the venom, pretty much, so he's matching Nightwing, and of course he has his men up there with him to fight Nightwing, so pretty much he starts taking down Nightwing, and out of nowhere, Batman comes back, saves Nightwing, and they take out Bane and send him over to Arkham, well, to Blackgate, or wherever. They, he can send the arrested people. And basically, at this point, Batman has a revelation. The League of Assassins are helping Joker with the bombs and pretty much helping him. <laughs> you, you know, helping him with men and all that kind of stuff and weaponry. Pretty much, they're, they're the source of Joker's strength at this point. So... <laughs> Because the reason why that happened is because there's a little bit of a flashback. Batman's floating in the water, and then a couple ninjas grab him from the water and bring him inside sort of this, like, crazy, like, pretty much in Wonder City. Pretty much in Wonder City. So they bring him over there, and they toss him in the Lazarus Pit under Talia al Ghul's orders. Talia, he comes back to life, and then Talia tells him that Raish al Ghul, Raish is helping Joker with the bombs and everything. He gave him the bombs, he um, helped uh, Harley get out of, sort of, get out of danger, you know, from Batman and everything like that to break Joker out and all that kind of stuff. And, um, of course, Drish told her to save Batman after he heard that he died, to save Batman and bring him back because it's sort of like supposed to be a test and he doesn't want Batman to really fail, so he trying to, he's trying to help Batman actually succeed. So, he tells Talia to bring Batman back to life. Of course, Bruce and Talia fall in love with each other, and uh, they do the uh, sideways tango. <laughs> I said that in class. Everybody died. Anyways, and uh, that's how Damien happens. So, <laughs> Damien's going to appear later on in the series, but yeah, and Batman pretty much goes up, and he saves Nightwing, and that we're back to reality. So... <laughs> Now we're in chapter 5. This is the final chapter, well, second to final chapter, 
I, I went on to the uh, fourth chapter. I don't know. I was that four? I think that was chapter four. Basically, Batman and Nightwing start taking out the Suicide Squad and start taking out the various criminals. And I think that you know they take out the Suicide Squad and the side villains. And then in chapter five, they actually take out Black Mask, Two Face, and Penguin, and pretty much stop the turf war. And then final chapter, Joker goes over to Arkham Asylum after they disarm all the bombs. They stop the turf war. Joker. And Ra's al Ghul decide they're going to have one final fight. One one final stand against Gotham in Arkham Asylum. They make a fortress out of Arkham Asylum. They take over um, Black Mask, Two-Face, and Penguin. Sort of criminal um, organization. So they pretty much take out and pre um, gain control of their men and everything like that. And they're in Arkham Asylum and it's hold up real tight. GCPD are a lot weaker and they have... No men. They have a lot. <laughs> they have lost a lot of men over the course of the game due to you know the fighting and the bombs and everything like that. Um, and Batman decides that he's gonna need some more help. So Batman, Catwoman, Robin, Nightwing, Green Arrow, Arrowette, and all the GCBD, they they're sort of outnumbered. So Batman decides that he's gonna get some more help. He gets the crime bosses. Penguin, Two-Face, and Black Mask to help him. They get back their men and everything like that and pretty much to help him invade Arkham and beat the Joker. They, he t gives them sort of like a term. He's pretty much making his own suicide squad at this point. He tells them, you're going to help me do this. And in return, I'll, let, I'll tell Warden to get you out of this place. But in the mean, but you, once you help me, are not supposed to be... You, okay, <laughs> let me explain that. You are immune. You, 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 I've forgiven you. All your charges have will be dropped if you help us take out the Joker. So, and he says that once he they help him take out the Joker, he doesn't want them to commit any crimes, leave the city, or just go clean, stay clean, because their immunity will go down. And then once he gets them into jail, he has all the evidence in the world against them if he gets them to jail if if they do anything and he arrests them arrests them they will get the chair pretty much because you know it's out of his hands after he arrests them they might get the chair because they're not exactly psychotic or anything like that two-face on the other hand th this is for black mask and penguin but two-face on the other hand is sort of like a coin flip he flips the coin the bad side he doesn't help batman Good side, who is still Harvey Dent, wants to help Batman. So, at the flip of a coin, it lands on he wants to help Batman. And pretty much, he wants to go clean. Because he also helped out GCPD with the bombs and everything. Like, one half was stopping GCPD from taking out the bombs. And one half was helping GCB t GCPD take out the bombs. It was sort of like, he was split in the middle, really. Um, he couldn't really come up with a proper, like, plan or anything. He couldn't really do it. He was, he was really bent he he didn't know who to help or what to do because like his bad side really wanted to see the chaos he wanted to see destruction and everything like that so he wants the bombs to blow up and everything like that but his harvey dent side wants to save gotham and everything like that and then the death and all the destruction will be just too much so pretty much he was split down the middle but at the end he actually comes back he comes full circle beats his bad side and now he's full harvey dent again he and he goes to um, uh, this, another city to get his um, brain, well, no, to get psych, psych, psychiatric help, there we go, um, with his uh, schizophrenia. So, they all, all three of them get back their men, and they sort of lead the fusions of the GCPD at the same time, and all of them invade Oregon. Of course, it's chapter 6, uh, when this all starts, or chapter 5, whichever, and pretty much, they all take out, the, uh, they all take out all the villains, and it's up to Batman, who goes over to, um, <clears throat> I don't know why I really want to have, I want to have this be set in sort of the Batcave, for some reason, there was, they have the Batcave, Batman has his Batcave in the, in Arkham, I really want this to be set, like, the final fight to be set in the Batcave, because it would just make sense, but I don't know how that would work, really, but, yeah. 
So the uh, Batman. Well, let's just say it's sets in the bat. It's set in the Batcave. Bat, uh, Joker and Rachel Ghoul are in Batcave. Bat, uh, uh, Joker ambushes Batman. Tells him all about his plan and how he's he, he's gonna destroy Gotham and everything like that. And then Rachel Ghoul pops out of nowhere, stabs Joker through the chest, and pretty much kills him. He drops Joker, and then he starts monologuing about how he wants to save the world, and the only way to save the world is by controlling it, and all that kind of stuff, and he's trying to get Bat recruit Batman, and then once Batman really refuses to help to join the League of, Asha uh, League of Assassins, League of Shadows, okay, <laughs> League of Assassins, Rage gets pretty much mad, and then they have a fight. By the end of the fight, Batman sort of overpowers um, Ra's al Ghul and actually starts beating Ra's al Ghul. But Joker, you just start hearing a bunch of laughing. And it's pretty much Joker going full, like, maniac zombie, pretty much. He still has a sword inside of him. He takes his gun, shoots Ra's al Ghul a bunch, and pretty much kills Ra's al Ghul. But not before blowing up Arkham Asylum. That was their final plan if everything went on. Um, that was Joker's final, Joker and Ra's final plan if everything went wrong. They had bombs in Arkham Asylum and they pretty much were going to ambush Batman and everything like that. And he blows up the bomb. Arkham Asylum starts crumbling down. He kills Ra's and then he has a little fight with Batman. He's gone full crazy it's like he's pretty much got super strength and super resistance and everything at this point. Because he's sort of like a zombie, sort of, not really. And uh, Batman actually beats Joker. He and the rest of his friends, Nightwing, Robin, Catwoman, who also joins up. Um, uh, Arrowette, Green Arrow, all, uh, uh, Gordon, Montoya, all of them escape. Or comes out and it blows up. It sinks down into the ground. And pretty much that's the end of the game. Now we enter the epilogue, where pretty much they're just like the aftermath of chapter 6, the aftermath of the game. It's just a long cutscene. It's pretty much Batman uh, and Gordon trying to fix everything. They have a little talk, talking about how everything went down. Uh, Harley's in custody again, and uh, since Arkham Asylum blew up, and, you know, Blackgate sort of not really... A, Blackgate sort of full, they send Harley... And the Suicide Squad and everything. Well, not the Suicide Okay, so, uh, Storage Space. <laughs> yep. Again, greatest, greatest thing in the world. So, um, as I was saying, um, <clears throat> Harley, Joker, and everybody else. Well, Harley gets, gets into Blackgate along with the Suicide Squad, and Joker... Uh, he's not dead. He's still sort of breathing and everything. And after a bit of surgery, they get out the sword and everything like that. And at, two months later, they send him over to the Bloodhaven's um, <clears throat> prison, the prison in Bloodhaven. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much what happens with Joker. Um, <clears throat> of course, Green Arrow goes away, and um, Nightwing goes over to um, <clears throat> Central City, where. Uh, Gordon put, uh, <clears throat> what should I call it? where Gordon put uh, Barbara to see Barbara because, you know, they're still dating. Um, <clears throat> man, I just hate, I just ate and my throat is just like killing me. So, yeah, but anyway. Um, <clears throat> so, you know, that happens and um, pretty much the story ends with, you know, their victory. A little mid credit scene or before the credits. You see Joker two months later in the prison. You know, he's in a straight jacket and everything like that. And he's pretty much there monologuing and, like, <clears throat> saying that, okay, you may have beaten me that time. You may have beaten me that time, but I'm going to come back stronger when I get out of here. I'm going to come back stronger. I'm going after your little bird. <clears throat> pretty much, that sets up um, <clears throat> a death in the family. So, yeah, that that's sort of the... That's it for the story. Um, going back a little bit to chapter <clears throat> five, pretty much. Uh, at some point in chapter five, Catwoman gets captured by Black Mask or a fake Black Mask. Batman goes rescues her, um, and it's for the Black Mask. Um, <clears throat> once you take out all of their uh, sort of uh, all of the Suicide Squad members who joined up with the various um, <clears throat> crime bosses as sort of their backup 
and uh, not really henchmen, like they're bodyguards or something like that. Basically, the villains come out and sort of like go on like a tank or not a tank, but on like a car and everything, so you can go and capture them that way. Or they pretty much tell you, okay, I'm here, come and catch me, or something crazy like that, so you can go and actually get them. Or you just interrogate all the uh, <coughs> Suicide Squad members slash henchmen that you uh, arrest, and they'll tell you where they are. Something like that, and that's pretty much how the game ends. So, yeah, but anyways, that's it for for uh, the story. Uh, as I said, you can go back and watch the game uh, gameplay element of it. <clears throat> and, uh, yeah, I, I think this may be split into multiple parts. I went for, like, 15 minutes. Might get split into multiple parts. Who knows? <laughs> Maybe I, I just decide I'm lazy. I'm going to leave it in one video. But, yeah, that's it for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please like comment and subscribe. Tell me down in the comment section below what you think of the story, how I could improve it, and um, yeah, so next up I have <clears throat> I'm not sure what to, I'm gonna do next up. Um, I have a Green Arrow DLC planned for the game, so that's also a thing that I might do later on in its own like separate video. Um, next up, I have some One Piece games in mind um, before I continue on with DC VGU because I barely have any sort of the other games like gameplay elements and stuff in mind um <clears throat> this is the only game i've really gone in depth with and it's taken me about two hours to do so well yeah a little bit more than two hours so <clears throat> yeah anyways that's it for this video as i said next up will be a one piece game concept as well as the one year anniversary podcast and um some other things along with uh road to suplex city on tuesday so Look forward to that. Um, maybe, <laughs> uh, depending on if I split this video up, maybe uh, Road to Suplex City already came out. I don't know. As I said, I'm recording that on uh, Friday of, well, yeah, I think today's Friday, right? Yeah, today's Friday. So I'm recording this on Friday uh, the 5th. So I don't know when all of this is going to be uploaded. But, uh, yeah. <clears throat> so anyways, as I said, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Do all everything that I said before. A lot of videos coming up. See you guys in the next video. Troll on. Baby. They want to talk. Shh. Well, what they talking about? I see them running their mouth, but they ain't talking a lot. I'm taking over the game. Now let me show you how. I'm taking over the game. Now let me show you how. Got them shook when I rise Got the game on